Is this, I mean, don't need it. scripts don't matter? Huh? Okay. Uh, I'm just going through my day. Let's see. No. Busy day. Uh, uh-huh, Hair no, appointment later. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Me. Blah. <laughs> no. Nothing. Not really important blah, unless unimportant, you're... Blah, so unimportant. Okay. okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> um, this is how I prepare. An actor prepares. Okay. Well, let me... You know, we were talking to Richard earlier, and um, it came up that, you know, a lot of people approach you on the street. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you guys are using the lingo day to day. Do people ever come up Freeze. to you? It's lingo. Exactly. Do people ever approach you on the street and think that, you know, you're a real detective? Do they tell your prob- you know, tell them your problems, that kind of thing? Well, uh, someone's breaking into friends. a car. Wait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jumping the action. You know? It's instinct. I can't help myself. Uh, yeah, you know, I've had a couple, oh, oh, like that, uh, the, the surprise stuff. Um... You know, I, I, I have had uh, people who have uh, who are survivors of sexual assault come up to me, and that's always been a very uh, deep, uh, intense moment. And it's those times where, um, you, know, I, you know, I entered into this whole thing as an actor, and it's an actor doing a job. And, and when those moments happen, happen you realize that uh, at the, the best that this show is, it serves a greater purpose than just entertainment. That is, you know, it, it does have the power to heal and uh, or enlighten or educate. And, you know, so those are uh, pretty heavy moments. Mm-hmm. Do you ever feel like, um, you know, it's a crime drama, obviously, mm-hmm. but do you feel like, you know, you guys touch on so many social issues with every episode. Do you feel like sometimes <coughs> you're, you're either going too far or not far enough? Yeah, but, you know, I think that's just all in the handling. You know, everyone has good days, bad days, but I think at the heart of it, uh, the, the, our, our core mission is coming from a good place, which, you know, as I said, is to uh, be kind of uh, current, up-to-date on what's happening, the ebb and flow. I mean, where does technology fit in society? And, you know, now you have online predators. And, you know, it's all, a whole new dynamic of... You know, you start with the premise of sexually based offenses. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's the whole fluid dynamic of how the culture is growing and changing. And we try and throw those up in the air and deal with them and, you know, see if they stick. Mm-hmm. Um, talk about your relationship with Mariska. I mean, you guys have been dubbed like the BFFs on set. Yeah. I've been married to this woman for 12 <laughs> years. I can say I see her more than I do my own family. Uh, and all I can say is thank God we get along. Uh, I think uh, it's a relationship on and off screen that has evolved uh, for the better. And I think with evolution, nothing is ever just kind of a straight line, nice and easy. You know, and, and I think that's strengthened mm-hmm. uh, ourselves uh, as, as people. Uh, our character, our inner character, not just the Elliot and Olivia thing. And uh, I think it served the show well. Mm-hmm. How much of you is, you know, it's Chris Maloney is in Elliot Stabler? Uh, 17%. What, what, what 17%? <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> um, real quickly, talk about the crime scenes. I mean, it looks, it looks very realistic. I'm a nightside reporter. You know, unfortunately, we're out on a lot of crime scenes day to day. And I have to be honest, when I'm comparing what I'm seeing in the field to what, you know, is on SVU, it looks very realistic. How realistic is it? Well, you know, um, every episode, uh, most episodes are kind of like Frankenstein's monster, which is they do the research and um, they see they'll research one crime and they'll kind of glue it you know an aspect of it to another crime and then they'll kind of put in a social issue that might kind of have you know a, a, an element of what's happening in, in true these true life crimes and they kind of put it together um, <coughs> as far as what, how we do it you know let's be honest we uh, you know the the justice system is a long and winding road sometimes taking years so we you know, conveniently compressed. But, mm-hmm. you know, we do the best we can. And, look, the highest compliment I've ever been paid are when cops stop me on the street and go, hey, you do all right. Hey, you're pretty convincing. <laughs> That's about the high, highest compliment you'll get from a New York cop. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome.